So this is the second part of our family travel printmaking project. So in our last video, we watched how we drew our planning for our family travel. So this is, I started out at my house, and then I drove to the airport, and then we flew to Jamaica, and we had a lot of fun when we went scuba diving, or we went snorkeling, and we played with the beach ball, and we got some puka shells, and we were so tired, we passed out and fell asleep. And then we had a fly back and finally drive back home. So that was my <clears throat> family trip. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this white piece of foam. And this foam is very similar the, to the type of foam that's on your the reddish pink lunch trays. So it's kind of thin, it's a little bit thinner than that. And if you press on it, it will make a mark. So see how I made that mark with my pencil? And if I feel it, it's kind of raised. I can kind of stick my fingernail in it. So when we go to print make, the ink is not going to stick in there, but it'll stick on the rest of the paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my drawing and I'm going to line it up really well on that piece of foam. And I'm holding it down. Now if you have issues holding down, what you can actually do is you can ask me for a piece of tape and I'll come and I'll give you some tape. And this is what will happen. So I'll take it, put a little piece of tape on it, scoop it out, line it up, and we'll just fold it over, and that'll help keep it nice and straight. You can also put one on the bottom, but you still need to make sure you're holding your paper when you're drawing it. So next, you are gonna trace over all of your lines that you made before. So I'm going to press down a little bit harder than I normally press when I'm writing. I'm going to go over all of my lines. Okay, so imagine that I had traced over all of my lines, which is exactly what you're going to do. When I take this off, you can see all of the lines that I traced over, but not done yet. We have to trace it over a second time, because right now these aren't that deep. And if I put paint on it, the paint would actually stick into those lines. So if you need to sharpen your pencil, you can. But then what you're going to do is you're going to go over with your pencil for a second time, and trace over all of your lines. Every single line that you drew on that first planning, you're gonna go back and draw over again. And sometimes if you can't see your line, look back at your picture and try to figure out what you missed. this. So, see how you can tell which ones I have done and which ones I haven't done. So at the end, when you run your finger over it, you'll be able to feel it. So, that's what we're working on right now. Once you have finished the entire thing, gone over all of your lines that were on your previous paper, what you're going to do is you're going to flip it over on the back and you're going to write your name and you're going to write your teacher's name. This is so we know whose artwork it is. We can actually keep these attached with a little piece of tape that we have until the end because at the end we'll just pull them off. Um, have any other questions about what we're doing? Go ahead and ask. 